YouTube family, my junk family, junk entrepreneurs. What up, though? It's Mr. AMG out here on the clean out. Got our first clean out, outside clean out um, for 2022, man. Um, got me a guy who's looking for some words, man. A lot of people was hitting me up, you know, had a pretty good feeling about the gentleman I got right now. He back there getting busy, showed up with the with the utility vest on, the high visibility vest and everything. Didn't even ask him to do that. You feel me? But that's how you know when somebody coming to get busy, all right? That's how you know. So I'm going to show you what we got going on right here. House condemned. Outside trash. I guess the person who bought it, he's an out-of-state investor, and um, he needs this stuff cleaned up. Uh before a certain date um, so we taking care of that I need a roof on it and the house needs some work it don't bother me though because uh you know we here to do what we do get this stuff it's a little bit unsafe look at that but yeah we got this right there you know, get these things out Show y'all what else we got going on. You know, I got Big Baby with me today. We got this right there. A couple tires. Not bothering the bricks. Just the trash, wood, couches. This chair right there. Illegal dumping going on, so we gotta get rid of that. And then, you know, we got some stuff back here. So, uh, yeah. Got going on right now. We gonna make it work. It's gonna, it's gonna work, my man. Dan, it's gonna work. You gonna make it work? All right. All right. Starting twenty two off uh, the right way. Uh, we are gonna get some more of these jobs in, man. It's just one of many to come. Hey, just so y'all know out there. All right, let me just keep it all the way. Solid with you when you're doing jump removal jobs, all right? I'm gonna post up right here on the on the steps because you know that's the beauty of what I'm doing right now. I'm not, I'm not looking to actually do any work. I'm paying, um, which is something I always wanted to do. Um, I feel good putting money in people's pocket any chance I get. Um, but let me tell you about this jump removal thing. I had another job not too long ago, um, supposedly, all right, and they flaked out again. Now, we wasted roughly about a week. I don't really consider it a lot of wasted time because the city was closed during this time. I think I explained that in my previous videos. The city was closed, so uh, it was slow, you know. Um, a lady wanted me to blind bid some things. You know, I gave her the best estimate I could without seeing some things. Stevie Wonder, you feel me? Um, but I say, yo, I need to go take a look at this stuff. So we set something up. I go over there, take a look at it. Lo and behold, there's way more stuff. You feel me? Then um, that was mentioned. So um, I gave them a price. Um, the guy that initially had was going to use a pickup truck. I believe that's who they probably went with. Um, they wanted to go with us because of our containers and whatnot, but the price became, I guess, out of their budget. They were selling the house and they were looking for some empathy, basically. Like, we're not making much money off of this house, X, Y, and Z. That has nothing to do with me. It's business, never personal. So when you're doing these junk removal jobs, man, they gonna run some stories on you sometimes to get that price way lower than what it should be. People want cheap labor. If you want to sell yourself short, by all means, you do that. 
Man, I'm here to tell you, that ain't how I rock. That ain't what I recommend. Charge your worth, all right? Um, so, uh, yeah, we wasted some time, um, definitely, with, you know, creating invoices. And they accepted the invoice, um, the offer, and then they flaked out the next day after I had a line of people lined up. This is how I met my guy right here that I'm dealing with. Um, so, you know, this was already something in the making right here, but I kept putting it off because... You know, other things was going on at the time with the landfill, so I couldn't make it shake. Um, but you know, everything work out in its own way. You know what I mean? Everything works out in its own way. So we're gonna see how the rest of this go um, today with this job, man, in 2022 and beyond, man. Getting some junk removal jobs, man. But you know, dumpster rental is the sauce, baby, over here. I right, man. So. uh but yeah, keep in mind, if this your first time doing junk removal or you've been doing it and you've been getting flaked on, man, it happened to the best of us, man. And it happened to me so many times, you know what I mean, that I didn't lost count. But I just keep going. Every time I tell myself, look, I'm done with a junk removal job. When they call me, I don't even want nothing to do with them. I'm, it's to a point where I really I, I outsource them because I didn't have the manpower. But now, you know what I mean? I feel like things, you know, the uptrend is about to happen, man. So uh, I'm going to see how this play out. But I was telling myself, screw these junk removal jobs, man. I'm cool. I'm going to stick to dumpster rentals. You feel me? But when, when my phone calls come through and I hear them, I try to hear them out. And if it sounds like something, I'm going to entertain it. I ain't going to just always turn them away um, because you never know which one could actually be the one that lands you, you know, something for real, for real, man. So, um, it's legal work. It's good work. It's honest work. You feel me? Uh, can't go wrong with that. So, uh, just wanted to show y'all what I had going on. Y'all, uh, stay, stay tuned, stay rocking with me. You know, I still got more stuff to come, more stuff to, to bring, you know, to my platform or whatnot. Um, but yeah, y'all let me know out there, man. How y'all feel, man? Do it grind y'all gears when them when them when them people flake on you and they got you lining people up, clearing your schedule, setting things up, and at the last second they say, Yeah, the price is a bit too high. I think we're gonna go another route. You know what I mean? Let me know, you know, do that touch a nerve, how y'all deal with that. I'll check y'all out in the next video. Peace.